beautiful documentary yes. as well. How did you become involved in it? I, uh, some friends of mine produced a film called Churchill with Brian Cox that was amazing and I'd been up on set in Glasgow um, and was talking to them and then they mentioned that they just announced the launch of this movie and I have worked in fashion for a long time and I know everybody who was in Alexander McQueen's life and I never knew him and I've never pretended to know him and sadly I didn't meet him but I weirdly have been friends with so many people, Izzy Blow, Philip Tracy, Detmar. So I said, spoke, had a talk with them and said, listen, this is something that I'm so passionate about. Um, can we sit down and I could just discuss how I could contribute to the film? I was so passionate. Um, and we all sat down and it became really clear that we all got on so well. And Ian and Peter are just the nicest, loveliest guys. And we all really got on really well. So I said, yes, please, I'll take the job. I think what's very important about this film is that it isn't just about what Alexandra McQueen um, delivered as an artist, but we really get to see who Lee was. Don't we? You know, it's also really interesting that you say that because I think that even though a lot of people work in fashion think they knew Alexander Lee McQueen, actually he was quite private. And the film does, especially with Janet, his sister speaking and his nephew Gary, which is really amazing that they open up in the movie. You do actually learn more about the man and not just the clothes or just the designer. And I'm wearing Alexander McQueen vintage now, which I was a collector before. So um, it's really nice to kind of bring all my dresses out and actually wear them in his honor as well and feel a bit more that I know more about him.